sound words are explained in the passage, usually in the form of relative clauses or in brackets, okay? Or in, in other tenses, okay? It, the, the passage gives uh, exact information what this word means and why it's important in that context, all right? And the last one is when you have no uh, footnote and when you have no explanation, you have to go for the surrounding context, which means you have to guess just looking through the words or the sentences around the word, all right? Otherwise, you have no choice. If you don't, uh, if you cannot find the word, then what? No idea that what you'll do. Okay, the last one is surrounding context. So here we have words in mm -hmm. exercise 1.4 tannin, astringent, alkaline, ogel, and soluble. So on the right side we have definitions from A to F. Um, one definition is extra, okay, to match the words with their definitions. Looking through the passage in the healthy in exercise 1.2, you remember, you remember that one, right? Mm -hmm. Healthy. So you have mm -hmm. to use three ways in order to find this uh, word's meaning. The first one is footnote, explanation, and then the text. Also, you have to write down how you found the meaning of the word. Okay, for example, you might say ten is A, and I found in the footnote. Something like that. Do you understand? Okay? Yes, clear. Is the task clear for everybody? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I say sometimes yes, okay? I, I don't know whether you have understood or not. Understand. Alright, great. I understand. Go and do it. Okay. Okay.